Welcome to the Department of Dental Informatics Introduction to Adding a Planned Appointment in Axiom. The purpose of the planned appointment is to communicate to the scheduler what procedures the appointment will entail. Before you can add a planned appointment, the procedures you want to plan must first be approved by both your patient and your supervising faculty. If the text is black, you know the procedure has been approved. If the text is blue, faculty still needs to approve the procedure. Since these procedures are listed in blue, we know that they have not yet been approved by faculty, so we will click on the teal box at the bottom, select the treatments for approval, and have supervising faculty approve the treatments by entering their credentials or swiping their faculty card. We can now move forward with planning the appointment. In the EHR, select the treatments you would like to plan. Treatments added to a planned appointment don't have to be listed in sequential order, as shown here, as we add T3 and 29. With the procedure selected, right-click and choose Add Planned Appointment from the contextual menu. This will open a planned appointment window where you will enter some basic information about the appointment, including the length of the appointment, status, clinic, and reason. In the Reason field, you will usually enter a brief summary of the procedure. Whatever you enter here will show up in your patient's treatment history, which the PSC will use when scheduling. If you are planning a series of appointments, it is helpful to indicate the order of the appointment in the Reason field. So let's say you are planning on delivering the treatments over a series of four visits. In the Reason field, you would precede the description with one of four, two of four, and so on, so the PSC knows the correct order when booking multiple appointments. Once you have planned the treatment, you will notice a yellow calendar icon appears next to the date field, indicating that there is a planned appointment for the procedure. Once the appointment has been scheduled, the yellow calendar icon will turn white. So just remember, yellow calendar icon means the appointment is planned, and a white calendar means the appointment is scheduled. Also, you will see an entry in green text for the new planned appointment. If you notice that you've made an error, like we've done here by adding tooth 29 instead of tooth 30 to the second appointment, just double click on the green appointment text and edit the appointment accordingly. If you want to add additional treatments to the appointment, open the appointments tab in your personal planner and click on the search icon in the top left of the window to show all of your appointments. Right click on the appointment you want to modify and choose appointment treatments. This will open a window where you can add and remove treatments to and from the appointment by using the chevrons in the middle of the window. For the sake of demonstration, let's say you wanted to add the treatments on 230 to the planned appointment. Select the treatment and click the right facing arrow to move it into the appointment treatments column. To move it back, just click the left facing arrow. As a side note, you can add treatments that have already been scheduled for later appointments if your treatment plan has changed or time allows for additional treatments. Please note that adding the correct treatments to your appointments is imperative to ensure accurate faculty coverage. The importance of accurately adding appointment treatments cannot be overstated. Sufficient faculty coverage is important for both patient care as well as things pedagogical, so just make sure that you're adding the correct treatments to all planned appointments. And this concludes the introduction to appointment planning. If you have any questions or would like further training, you can stop by the Department of Dental Informatics in room 361 of the College of Dentistry or call us at 55481 on campus. Thanks for watching.